Welcome back, everybody. I'm your host, T7, to bring you guys another Forza Horizon 4 video. And as you not now know, Toyota is back. And now, here's my Toyota Supra. It's got, right now, it's got 800 horsepower in it. It was sitting at 1100, but I had to remove some because it was a little bit crazy. Um, and I'll show you why in a second. But uh, I'm just going to whip it around the block and show you guys my Supra. Yeah. So this is pretty cool. I'm so happy that this car finally came back. I'm happy that Toyota finally reached an agreement with Forza. I think we all are very, very happy about that. Now, this is the only car in the game so far. I don't know if Toyota is planning to, or Forza is planning to, release any more cars, but I hope they will. But I think this is just a little bit of a, you know, sorry that we've been gone for so long. But, you know, hopefully, hopefully, uh, hopefully we will get some other cars. Uh, maybe the Prius, I don't know. Um, <laughs> Um, but, yeah, no, the Supra, Supra is amazing. I didn't know what I wanted to do with this, to be honest. Uh, I was trying to make it, as you can see, it could get sideways. But, I didn't know what I wanted to do with this car. Um, I was debating whether I was going to make it a drift car, or was I going to keep it stock, or was I going to make it a race car? I don't really know, but... Uh, I guess I kind of made it a drift car at this point. Well, it can get sideways anyway. For eight, actually, for right now it's sitting at 800 horsepower. Yeah, it can get sideways. Woo! And damn, it gets sideways with style, man. <laughs> I'll tell you that this thing is really fun. Let's see, do I have manual clutch on? I think I do. Try and clutch kick a little bit. Hang on a second. I was recently on my wheels, so it, I must have uh, I must have disengaged that a little bit. So give me a sec. Difficulty settings. Yep. Okay. Okay. So let's see. I realize there's also some new recording options on Xbox. I don't know if I could still record up to ten minutes. Uh, I have no idea how this is working, so hold on, let me go just double check this, it's gonna glitch a bit. So it still says 10 minutes, so, yeah, it still says 10 minutes, but they removed, they moved the recording box for me, so I don't know, they, the, uh, the heads up, the heads up display has changed on Xbox a little bit, so. Now, uh, tab down instead of me actually pressing up, record up to it, I have to go to a different tab and press record, which is different. All tap, hell yeah! I also will be doing some videos on the Chevrolet Impala, I've got one finally. Also, got a GTO and the Firebird. So, those are videos that will be coming up on the channel sooner than later. Uh, but I want to start with the Supra, of course. Um, but let me go take it to the garage. I'll show you what exactly what I've got to this thing. Just drive it around for a bit. So I had to remove a bit of horsepower in it. Uh, I had 1100 in it. It was pretty crazy for 1100 horsepower Supra. Woo! I like the turbo sound on this car. Oh, let's take out some stuff. People's front lawns. That's what you want to do. A lot, you know, the, the uh, Toyota Supra is definitely a lawnmower. Not really, that's what Hondas are for, but I mean, this is a better lawnmower, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Woo, shoot. Oh, but I forgot about the ghosting. Oh, yes! That probably not my best score when I got hit with this, but uh, I didn't throw a drift kit on it by, uh, at all, but I don't know if I wanted to. Uh, oh, Slutcher's got 100k on that, damn. Um, I don't know if I wanted to uh, get. Put a drift kit on this. I, again, I didn't know what exactly what I wanted to do with the Supra, but uh, it does get sideways. But you know, I didn't make it like a full-on drift build. I just, it's a little bit in between. You know, it, it can grip, it can get sideways. You know, just kind of a, a balance, very balanced car, and it can go very fast. So I'll put the turbo. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the full turbos on here now. Um, I'll go back in the garage. I just took them out because, again, I just wanted to make this a more stable car, uh, but. But this thing was legit, with 1100 horsepower, it was legit, it was stock, with a stock motor, it was legit just drifting all over the road, it was like, it was fast, really fast drift car, it was like, damn, <laughs> so I had to take it out, 
I was like, I, can't, I don't think I can be able to race with this. I mean, I probably could, but, you know, I, I don't... Uh, I don't think it's going to get me very far. I'm just getting sideways the entire track. <laughs> but uh, I'll show you guys... I'll put the turbo back in. I guys can also show you what I actually have in it. So the, the engine's basically stock. I didn't engine swap it. I kept the 2JZ in there. You know, try to keep it original as possible, right? Um, I put down some spacers, uh, level one spacers, front and back. Um, that's pretty much it. Change the rims on it. Change the kit on a little bit. Put some body, body modifications on it. Um, but yeah, everything is pretty much stuck. But let me just throw the turbo back on here. There you go. Put the turbo back in. Now this shit's gonna fly. But see, how much power do I have in this for so far? Let's see. How much power do I got in this? 1100 so far. Yeah. 1100 horsepower. Did it just go up 102? It did, in that saying. Okay. I'm confused. So I haven't done a. I, I said I was going to do a a video on this when it came out. So here it is. I'm a bit too. I'm two days behind, but it's okay. Uh, a bit busy at work, of course. But uh, here I am making a video on the Toyota Supra. Okay, now she's back at 1,100 horsepower. Insane. Woo! She is crazy, man. Trying to keep her in one spot is going to be the problem, but I'll do it. Yeah. Getting sideways. Woo! Nah, I can barely keep her straight at all. Like she just wants to burn the tires quick. Woo! Let's go! Full send? No. I was getting trippy, but it worked. Take this corner real quick. Ah, into the house. Yeah, into the house. <laughs> Try to save it a bit. If I had the drift kit, I probably would have saved that a lot better. But you know what? It's funny. I still got my points, so I didn't really... I just saved it from actually... Ooh. Some freaking mad angle from this Supra. Yeah, this is fun. Okay, so we are back in the garage. I have taken the Supra to Fortune Island, and I think you know what I'm gonna do with this. There's that serpentine drift section uphill and downhill, so I'm gonna take her there. Um, so, I'm going to put in the, I'm gonna put in the drift suspension now. That's a, what That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm gonna put the, it's on race suspension actually right now currently, but I'm gonna put the drift kit now in it. So I'm not gonna have the angle kit and see how far this guy goes now. So, yeah. I'm probably going to put it back to its, in its, I'm going to probably put it back to S1 after all this because, or I'll just get another Supra and then make it an S1 and make it kind of like more of a race car, you know, for track purposes. But for right now, I've, for the sake of the video, for having some fun, drift build. Let's go. Drift build, 1100 horsepower, Supra with a drift kit. Let's go. Okay, so I'm going to take her all the way up to that uh, section. Ooh, so far so good. A little sloppy, but it's okay. Woo! That was a wall tap, man. 
you guys think I could beat my record with this? Uh, my 512 is like my personal favorite, but the Supra obviously might fall in that same spot. Oh, I stalled it a bit. Woo! This guy's gonna drift with me, maybe? We know. Damn, let's go! Oh, we got some drifters. Oh, there's a Supra. They like my car. I kinda like my car, man. It's a Supra. After all those many, 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 many months of people begging for a Toyota Supra, you finally got it. <laughs> you finally got it. Oh, on the dirt a bit. Downhill is probably gonna be a little bit, a little bit, uh, a little bit more fun. Woo! Take out the whole back, uh... I honked the horn. Take out the whole back railing there. Ooh, let's go! She's taking out every sign. That spoiler is just like taking down every sign I can touch, basically. I think that's I think that's the real purpose of a spoiler. <laughs> Maybe just take out signs when you get sideways. <laughs> uh, obviously not, but <laughs> you know, uh, I'm having real fun with this. I don't mean to do that. <laughs> I'm honking the horn. I said because uh, I'm pressing down, I'm trying to really turn this car a little bit. I'm trying to turn like I try to turn really hard, and I end up pressing the L3 button. That's what happens. Ooh. Stalled it again. A little bit. Yes! What was that? What did I, what did I get? What did I get? Okay, so... 311,000 is what I got with the... With the, uh, with the 512 Testarossa. I don't know if I'm trying to beat that or not with the Supra, but... Maybe. Kinda wanna keep my 512 up there. I'm very proud of the 512 car, so... Ooh, let's go! Oh, that's kind of like a full send, not really, but maybe it is. Downhill is going to be a bit more fun. Woo! Yes! Damn! Let's go! I think this is what people should be doing with the Supra right now, honestly. This is what people should be doing. You guys should take a Supra, build it up, and take her up here to the section. The drift section on Fortune Island. Now, it finally has a real purpose now. To take, I think that's the whole purpose, just to take the Supra up here. That's feeling good, that's feeling good! A little first person action here. Woo! Oh shit, under it a little bit, it's all good, it's all good. They got to get the whole back end there. Yes! Yes! Ooh! Ooh! Oh! <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Ferrari. I'm really sorry. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, I didn't mean to... I didn't mean to wreck my, uh, uh, that's okay. The Supra, the Supra, uh, Supra smashed the Ferrari. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, it's like, it's like that scene in Fast and the Furious. Where, uh, Paul Walker races the, the Ferrari. <laughs> uh, that's okay. That's fine. I'll probably hit it again with the Ferrari so it didn't get any higher. But that that tells you something, right? <laughs> that this is one really 
This is what it was made for, right here. Oh, I'm doing it again. Hit the section again. Why not? Going uphill. Ooh, it's night time. This is it, man. Getting some, uh, getting some street racing vibes now with this. Woo! The whole back wall. Oh yes. I might try the wheel in a second. I was on the wheel earlier. Yesterday I was on the wheel, testing this guy out. I wasn't having... Uh, I was, I was, it was giving me a tough time, I won't lie to you. It was giving me a bit of a tough time. But, uh, but uh, I'll definitely... I'll try the wheel in a second here. When I get, when I get up to the section. I'm on the controller right now. Ooh, let's go, let's go. Let's see if I can handle it around the wheel. But, uh, I know when I was doing it earlier, I was losing, I was losing control many times, I'll tell you. But we'll see. Maybe, maybe this will be the, the charm. I got the drift kit on it now, so maybe they'll help a bit. I got the angle kit. Some good, good drifting, man. I haven't done that in a really long time. Yes, of course. You can't hear me though, sadly. Okay, so I'm gonna switch to the wheel and see what happens. Okay, guys. Okay. Okay, we are back finally on the wheel, and I have the Supra. This is the second time I'm recording this. Uh, I had an uh, issue trying to record this part. Uh, the first time and it didn't save properly so I'm gonna try to remember uh, what it is I said the last recording but essentially yeah let's get started yeah so uh, I'm gonna take this super downhill on the wheel and see how it treats me or see how I treat the super what is that? oh that start already hit a Volkswagen Damn Volkswagen. Oh shoot. Third gear, third gear. Yep, that's it. So, the last couple of times I tried drifting, I came back here on, on Forza Horizon 4, um, bef just bef slightly before this update dropped, and I realized all my values were reset. All the numbers that I had. Oh, that's a full send. Not really. Uh, I realized all the values that I had were reset, so I had to I had to fix them. And um, I'm still messing around with numbers now, so unfortunately, I'm a little bit lost with numbers. And I always I'm trying to get it, I'm trying to get numbers to be as good as Forza Horizon Three, but this is this game's a different monster a little bit. But I, I think I'm pretty close. Apparently the super just fine. Occasionally I'm spinning it out every now and then, but. That's normal, for me anyway, but, you know, that's normal for everyone. Not perfect with it, but it won't be as nice as my controller uh, finessing, but I'll do my best here. Ooh, I have to snap that one back. Uh, ooh, damn, let's go. And there's my Xbox having clips sent over to the OneDrive. Going off. I've had multiple issues all day with recording, so <laughs> hopefully this one comes out all right. Ooh, not bad, not bad. 211. I'm actually doing better this run than I did some of the practice runs I've done doing this. Trying to find the sweet spot with the Supra is a little bit difficult, but I think I got it. All right, 253, so not as high as the 313,000 that I received earlier with the controller, but you can kind of see that there's not much of a difference other than my f me just finessing the wheel not as well as I would do with the controller, but, or just the Super is a difficult car to handle one of the two, because it's like a thousand to one horsepower, so it's crazy. I'll try to get uphill. 
Hopefully this is recording, I swear. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. I wanna restart that, actually. No, 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 I wanna restart that. That is, that is not good. That is not a good start. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's get this right, let's get this right. I, wanna be, I want this to look as nice as possible. Ooh. Rough start, that's okay. I'll just keep going. Ooh, around the Mini Cooper. Getting a little bit wide, but it's okay. On the inside, a little bit. Just flick it. Right, we're making that weird noise again. <laughs> so this is uphill this time. I'd be surprised if I do better going uphill than going down, but we'll see. I'm a bit warmed up, so I should be able to do fine. Again, still working on numbers from the wheel and all that. I'm trying to find what's best for me. I'm pretty close, I think. Yeah, I'll show you, show you guys my values now before I end the video. Ooh, yes! Almost went wrong with that. Yes, on the Volkswagen. Oh, taking out the signs and the railing back there. It's okay. Ooh, oh, that could be bad. That could be bad, but can I save it? Yes, that's a bit rough. Oh my gosh, almost 300, almost 300k. So going uphill actually is a lot, was a lot better. Maybe I was just a bit more warmed up or that was just my better run. Yeah, well, the two. Um, but yes, let me show you guys what I'm running on the wheel currently. If you guys have any input on this, let me know. Uh, I know some stuff I've seen from other people don't exactly work with my wheel in terms of things, but uh, I'll show you guys what I'm running. Uh, here, wheel advanced. Uh, so I know I've been messing around with this a little bit, the outside, this is the one that's probably giving me a little bit of issue here, because I came back one day and it was all like reset and it wasn't working right, so it's like, ah, okay. So I messed around with, uh, some of this vibration scale, none, I don't need vibrate, force feedback set at 25, uh, and my rotation angle is at 600, but I have done 900 as well. I just haven't found the right sort of set of numbers. I do use 900 degree rotation on Forza Motorsport 7 and on Forza Horizon 3, which I changed. And I was on 900 rotation on this game at one point, but I can't remember the numbers I was running before. And something to do with these as well, with the center, center spring scale, I messed around with a little bit as well. So again, just messing around with these numbers, trying to make it feel as, as close as possible to what it was like in Horizon 3. Again, this game is a completely different monster. And, um, but hopefully, hopefully, uh, well, hopefully what you guys saw there was pretty good. Um, but, uh, yeah, um, so I'm just going to switch to drum mode here. Just give you guys one last look at the Supra. It is now officially raining. Um, my controller jumped off. Okay, so hold on. Where's the drone mode here? So there you have it, guys. My Toyota Supra build. Uh, it is great to have Toyota back. Hopefully there'll be some more cars. Uh, to the list uh, but uh, yeah so uh, that's the end of the video guys so hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to drop a like leave a comment i'll be seeing you guys in the next forza horizon 4 video very soon take care guys